Welcome back to the Finance Underground. I'm Brian. Today we're going to shed some more light on the secrets of finance. Today we're talking about bucket number four. Bucket number four is your fully funded emergency fund. Now I split this into two different pieces. We've got, so we're shooting for six months worth of, ex, um, six months worth of expenses saved. Okay, I split this into five months in a money market account or a high yield savings account. And then I have one month that actually sits in my, um, in my monthly budget to, that gives me a buffer for life. And this is a secret that I learned from Jesse over at YNAB or youneedabudget.com. Good software. Check it out. He's got some good education as well. Um, five months of expenses. This is not an investment. This is not a vacation fund. This is not remodel the house. This is your safety net for life. If you lose your income, you have money that you can live for six months while you get things back together. Okay. We're not looking for fancy investments. We want a high yield interest, high yield um, savings account or a money market to get as much interest as we can in a safe account that's accessible. This was a, is a liquid fund. When crap hits the fan, you have money to work with. Okay. So the first part of this is the one month buffer in the budget. What this allows you to do, and this, this money sits actually in your checking account, checking account number one, one month of extra money that sits in the account. And this money, it gives you a buffer for the month. So at the 1st of January, you have a full month's worth of money. This comes in really handy. If you work um, in an industry or a job or you're self-employed where your money fluctuates a little bit, this month buffer gives you, you know exactly what you're working with. The money that you're budgeting for February is money that's actually sitting in your account. See, you have a full month's worth of money. You can budget it and you can allocate it for February. In February, the money that comes in in February replaces that money. You know how much you have to work with for March. Okay. So one month in your checking account. The other five months of this sit in a money market or a high yield savings account. And it just sits there. Do a I did a quick Google search today and you just do the same thing. The thing you want to remember about these accounts is that the interest rates are going to fluctuate. So when you jump on and you look and it says, this one makes 0.5%, which is killer interest right now, um, or 0.8%, you need to remember that that may fluctuate with the market. Um, I did a quick search. And I found Sally May is currently offering, let me click over here and we'll just look at this one. So Sally May, Sally May is, a, is a big reputable company, right? And that's another thing. When you pick one of these banks, pick somebody that has a good track record. So you're picking the company more than the interest rate because the good companies are going to keep your interest rate at a, the good companies are going to keep a pretty comparable interest with the, with the other banks, right? So pick a, pick a company based on a good track record of the company. The interest rate um, will fluctuate to some degree, but you may have some. looks like, so I just did a quick Google search. Here's the Sally May. So Sally May right now offers 0.8%, which is fantastic in today's market. My money market account just went from 0.4 to 0.3%. So a 0.8 is pretty darn good. Um, and Sally May is a big company and you know, they're going to be around. So that might be something to look at, but like I say, that was just a quick Google search, just something to look at, but pick those companies based off the company track record and just know that the, the interest rate is going to fluctuate. 
So pick a good company. Okay, so bucket number four, the fully funded emergency fund, five months in a money market account, one month in your checking account number one or checking account number two if you split that monthly budget to your household income, your household budget separate from your, your bucket number one, planning and collection distribution bucket. Um, our family, we just use the one checking account, so it, it lives in checking account number one. Checking account number one, one month, money market account has five months. You'll sleep better at night. You'll sleep better at night. I promise you. It's awesome. Um, living a debt-free life and having six months worth of expenses. Good way to sleep at night. So next time we'll talk about bucket number five, retirement accounts. That could be a fun one. Saving for retirement. So Watch for that video and we'll talk to you soon.